welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be very different from anything that we've done before. A couple people commented on the day in the life video that I did a while back saying they want to see more cooking, asking what type of meals I typically make in the camper. The truth is I don't really think I changed my cooking style much when we moved into the camper. It's very similar to the types of things that I made when we were living in a house, but you do have to mm, adjust a little bit, of course, when you are limited on space. I'm gonna share a few meals with you in this video over the course of a few nights that I'm making just our typical dinner. And these are dinners that I make regularly in the camper. So tonight we are having smoked sausage, rice, and peppers. We have andouille sausage. You can use a kielbasa or turkey sausage, whatever type of sausage you wanna make. We have garlic. I'm gonna do four cloves of garlic for this. I already minced that because nobody wants to see my mincing skills. And then we have bell peppers. Any bell peppers you wanna use. I got this pack on sale the other day, so we're gonna use this. I only have half of a yellow onion. I would say this is the minimum amount of onion that you should use for this, because I'm a big onion girl. And then rice. I've been really into these instant 90 second rice packets, I guess. I like it because it saves us a dish that we don't have to do. I can just dump this into whatever meal we're already making. If it's like a one pot meal, I don't have to boil rice in a separate container, um, which sounds super lazy. But when you live in a camper, doing one less dish makes a big difference. So yeah, these things have come in clutch. And the last thing that I'm going to put in this, some tomato paste. I wish I had tomato sauce, but I don't. So we're going to make tomato paste work. This is just going to spice it up a little bit, give it a little more flavor. Oh, and I am not a chef. I just want to throw that out there. I am the kind of cook who does a little bit of this, a little bit of that. There are no exact measurements in my kitchen. So cut me some slack. Uh, I'm not a pro. I'm just showing you what I like to make. Here we go. open this on the wrong side. It's not going well. I feel like every recipe that you'll ever see for smoked sausage, peppers, and rice has you cut the sausage just in rounds. I like to do half rounds because <laughs> Cole prefers it that way. And also, I find that when you have the peppers cut small, it just makes more sense to have the sausage cut small as well. But you can leave them as rounds if you want to. It also just makes it feels like, feel like there is more oomph to the meal when you have more pieces of meat, in my opinion. Also, I don't add the sausage until after the peppers and onions because the sausage is already cooked, right? So we're gonna add it right now. she's ready. Like I said, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, nothing fancy at all. One thing I do wish I had some kind of fresh herb. 
that's optional. That's it. The whole thing took maybe 25 minutes. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this meal. We're gonna go eat some dinner and we'll see you for the next meal. What's up? We are back with another... <laughs> All right, we are back. And tonight we're making one of our favorite meals. I don't wanna call this a simple recipe because there are quite a few ingredients, but it's very easy to make spicy garlic noodles. I like to make it with chicken. Sometimes we've done it with shrimp. You don't have to add any meat if you don't want to. You can just have it as is. I'll show you the ingredients. All right, so I make this with rice noodles. It's like a Asian inspired dish. Definitely not like traditional Asian food by any means, but rice noodles, sesame oil. This is like the secret ingredient, the secret ingredient, Korean chili flakes. You don't need these. You can just use regular chili flakes, but I like to use these because I found them. I got these at Whole Foods, like when we still lived in Denver and I brought it with me. And we got some ground ginger. You can absolutely use fresh ginger. I just avoid buying more stuff when I already have some stuff that'll work. Paprika, regular chili flakes, dried basil leaves. You can use fresh basil leaves if you want and sesame seeds. Soy sauce will go into this. And then also garlic, a full small head of garlic and then two small shallots. That's why my eyes are watering right now. And then we'll top it with some green onion and also some um, fresh cilantro that I have. So I pulled my version of this from a recipe that I found online. I'll link that down below, but I will say I make it quite differently. I don't use nearly as much oil. I think that recipe calls for three quarters of a cup. That's too much in my experience. So I use significantly less and I kind of just, again, little bit of this, little bit of that. And then I'm gonna make some chicken thighs to go into this as well. I'm gonna do half a cup of oil. You can also use peanut oil for this, but I've only used sesame. I realized I forgot to mention cayenne and I also add a bell pepper to this little dish as well for a vegetable. And these shallots are thinly sliced. No need to do anything more than that to them. So I'm gonna add a little more oil and just cook my chicken directly in here now. While the chicken is sizzling, I'm gonna add some of my other spices to this. The Korean chili flakes. Ooh, regular chili flakes. Half a teaspoon of paprika, salt. Mix that up. And if you're wondering why on earth I'm putting this in this weird little bowl, It'll all make sense. I just realized I wasn't recording as I was adding the noodles. I just added the noodles into the boiling water. The pot is way too small, but it's this or like a giant stock pot. I don't want to use that. And then once these are just about done, I'm going to add the bell peppers into the same pot. Sometimes I feel like when I'm cooking, I just like black out isn't the right word. But like sometimes when I'm nearing the end, I'm like, what have I even done? I zone out. And maybe that's why I like cooking so much. I put on my jazzy music, have a glass of wine, and just zone out. And this is what Cole does. She's a great cook. Let her do her thing. If you're wondering, does Cole ever cook? The answer is no. Cole can cook. He can follow a recipe just fine. She loves to cook and she's good at it. And if I don't cook, he'll just order food. We don't want that. Drain in the noodles. And then these are gonna go right into my creepy little dish. Because there's so many noodles and they don't fit in here, it's gonna be really hard for me to like toss it like I normally do. So I'm gonna put the lid on. Ooh, wait, forgot soy sauce. I'm gonna do like a quarter, third of a cup maybe. 
throw the cilantro in, put the lid on this, and just shake her up. The noodle dance. Oh yeah, look at her. You guys, so this is the amount of oil that I used with a 13 ounce package of noodles. So you do not need more than a half cup of oil for an eight ounce packet of noodles. It just gets real greasy. If that's your vibe, I guess go for it, but we gotta shake her up again. All right, to make life easier, I just put everything back in the pan to give it a good toss because that container just wasn't big enough and not all the noodles were getting coated well. It's all done. We're gonna throw it in some bowls, top it with a little more green onion, some sesame seeds, and we're good to go. It is really, really good. That is it, we're ready to eat. Um, there is a reason that I keep all these ingredients on hand for this meal in the camper. It might be a little inconvenient, but it's so delicious. And it's just different than what we would normally eat in the camper. And that's the point of this video is to show you guys you don't always have to eat burgers and brats when you're camping. You can make fun stuff like spicy garlic noodles. If this is not for you, um, Maybe the next meal will be. It's something that's a little more simple and it's probably our most made meal even before we lived in the camper. It was one of our go-to dinners. So I'm excited to share that with you. We're gonna get to eating though. I like to use chopsticks because I have a tendency to eat really fast. This is it everybody. We're rounding out this exhilarating series of me cooking very average meals for you here on this channel. Tonight is another staple. It's simple. It's something that I feel like most people like, taco bowls, ground turkey taco bowls to be specific. I pretty much always use ground turkey. Occasionally we'll do some like pulled shredded chicken situation. I like making things in one pan or one pot in the camper and any kind of ground meat does well with this recipe in the camper. So meat, you could make it vegetarian if you wanted to too. Then I just cut up our veggies, have about a half of a yellow onion, a whole green bell pepper, about half of a red bell pepper. You can use whatever bell peppers you want. Usually I do like some fresh jalapeno, but we don't have any. So to give it a little bit of heat, ooh, I'm gonna do some diced green chilies and then black beans, corn, um, a lime, cilantro, we have some romaine lettuce to chop up to throw on this too. And then I'm just gonna use a couple different things to make like my own taco seasoning. Chili powder, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, the salt, pepper, the lime. I think that's it. And again, because I wanna make this a one pan situation, um, you gotta get a little creative. At home, I used to like, saute my veggies separate from the meat, but now I just do it all in one. Oh, and there will be cheese too. All right, these are sizzling. So I'm gonna put them in a different little container so then I can cook everything else in here now. with how I feel about ground turkey. Sometimes I love it, and sometimes I feel like it's like gross. And then like I won't be able to eat it for like a month or two until I get over the fact that I thought it was gross one time. Ground chicken is a good option too. Or ground beef, whatever. All right, so the turkey is browned. So I'm gonna add some spices, chili powder garlic powder, a lot of cumin. Oh, and I wanted to say, I haven't really been cooking on our Blackstone grill much the past like month, month and a half, but over the summer, we used that all the time. And obviously you could make something pretty much identical to this on the Blackstone grill, or if you have another type of outdoor camping stove, 
can make this anywhere. Don't judge me, I drain my beans, but I don't always rinse them and we're not gonna rinse them tonight. I'm not gonna do the whole can, I'm gonna do about half the can, but I am gonna do the whole can of the corn. It's an eight and a half ounce can. Green chilies. I did the whole can of green chilies. It's just a four ounce can. It needs more heat. I don't know how many chili powder left. Clearly this is not an authentic dish. If that's what you're looking for, came to the wrong place. So I'm actually gonna push like the meat mixture over to one side and then put my vegetables back on the other side to warm them up a little bit. I don't know why, I just, I like, when I assemble my bowl, I like to have the meat and the vegetables separate. Like I mix it all up eventually. I just feel like it helps keep the vegetables tasting a little more like vegetables when they're not cooked with the meat mixture. Maybe that's just me, that's just how I feel. So that's why I do it this way. of a salad for mine so we're gonna start with the lettuce then I'm gonna go the meat and beans then I'm gonna go the veggies um, we're gonna do cilantro give it a little squeeze of lime and I'm gonna go ooh I have avocado but I'm kind of in a cheese mood. Don't judge, but I think I'm gonna go cheese. Mm. No, I want avocado. Look at that. Salt on top. I love sour cream, but I don't really buy it because I don't use it that often. I use Greek yogurt a lot more, so I use plain Greek yogurt in place of sour cream. You can make so many sauces with Greek yogurt a little dollop. The final step is gonna be crushing some tortilla chips on top of this. Hi, baby. You want some? That's it, people. Three easy-ish dinners that you can add your own flair to. You can easily make them in the camper or outside if you have a camping stove or anything like that. Again, I'm not a chef. Um, I don't have specific recipes for all of this, but please let me know if you enjoyed this style video or if you thought it was super lame. I'm sure I'm gonna get like eaten alive in the comments for things I did horribly wrong while I was cooking, but this is how I cook, so. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next one. Let's eat!